Hi friends and welcome back to the random YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to recover a recording via OBS in a case where eventually you lose power or a crash happens. To enable that setting, go to the OBS settings and on the left side click the output option. Make sure on recording tab you have either MKV or FLV selected because if you're recording directly to MP4, if you're recording something and eventually you lose power or a Windows crash happens, all of your recording is gone permanently. So I will highly recommend choosing a MKV or FLV recording format and it is recoverable next time you start your PC but if you are having no crashes or no power losses then you can go with the mp4 recording format next thing you need to change is go to the advanced tab and from there make sure you click this automatically remux to mp4 and what this option will do it will automatically convert your mkv or flv to mp4 once you stop the recording and let me show you an example as you can see this is my recordings folder and every file has an extension of mkv and then the same file has an extension of mp4 so this is the main file main recording from OBS and when I stop the recording once I am done and click stop recording OBS will automatically convert that mkv file to mp4 file so I don't need to use any kind of converter to convert the mkv to mp4 so in case of any crash or power loss I still have the mkv file till that point where the crash or power loss occurred but suppose if you have only the mkv file and OBS failed to convert it to mp4 because of the crash or power loss you can always use any kind of uh, video converter like xmedia record which is a very good application handbrake or format factory these three i will highly recommend to convert any kind of video to any other format so if i open the x media encode which is a 64 bit application click open a file and choose any mkv file click open from here i can go to the video tab change the mode from convert to copy go to the audio tab change the mode from convert to copy and add all the audio tracks to output next you need to click add to queue and click the encode button and it will only take a couple of seconds to convert an mkv file to mp4 or whatever you choose so this is a good software X Media Recode, Format Factory, and Handbrake. So, hope I helped you in today's video. If I did, make sure you subscribe to the Random YouTube channel. Goodbye.